So we're hauling some hay today and this pup trailer of mine here, this rear trailer has been sitting, I haven't used it for over a month and I went and hooked on to it and one of my tires ended up being flat and it came off the bead. So I gotta try to re-bead it. We're gonna try using the starting fluid trick. I don't have a match so I'm just gonna use a, a torch. See if we can't get it to reseat. So it's this inside dual. So I'll just reseat it. I need to get that one fixed then, I guess. Because I can't have it leaking air like that all the time on me. So let's see what we can do. There we go. Got her. Finally. Ah, ouch. What are you dogs up to over here? Huh? Looks like they've got themselves a raccoon treed right there. Bottom of the roof of this old shed. Good dogs. If I knew this was the raccoon that killed all of our chickens, I'd probably kill it, but I don't think it is. It looks a little bit too big. I don't know, maybe it grew. That was six months ago. But we'll probably just take the dogs and go back over to the house. Let it go. Come on, Piper. Let's go. Let's go get some dinner. Come on. It's a little cold tonight already. Everything's already freezing up. I just had to walk over here and plug in the semi. I didn't plug it in when I parked it the other day. I gotta get up early tomorrow. We'll get another another load of hay. So I just wanted to make sure it'd start for me. I was wondering where the dogs were. I hadn't seen them all night, and sure enough, they were over there. I don't know how long they've had that raccoon treat up there, but anyway. <laughs> Cold morning today. We'll go haul some hay. I think we're all ready to go. Just gotta head down the road two or three miles and get loaded up and, and be on our way. Going out towards uh, Cokeville today, Sage Junction. So let's get on the road, head out towards Cokeville. Trying to beat the snow today, but it caught up to us. It's about unloaded. Just got my pup left. I'm trying to get out of here before the weather gets too bad. So Scott, 
14 more bales. Finally got the hay unloaded. Kind of took a while. All I could use was that bucket with the grapple, so I just had to grab them one at a time and just took a while to get that done. It's not snowing quite as much anymore. Didn't put down too much, just a, just a skiff. We're done though. All the hay stacked up and the gates are closed and ready to head home. We got about a two, two and a half hour drive home, so we'll get on get down the road and get going. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. What do you guys think, huh? Would you trust this bridge with 110,000 pounds? Well, I know it'll hold it because I've already been over it, but a little bit sketchy. So you go over this bridge, then you go right across some railroad tracks here. There's any trains coming? All right, let's get home.